Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Janika. I hope everyone's day is going extremely well. Mine is, so today we got another shower routine and I got some new shower products that I cannot wait to try out. So we're gonna start off with some oral care and I just left the dentist. They got me some new toothpaste and floss. I'm using Chris today, which is new for me because y'all know I'm a Colgate girl. So I'm using my electric toothbrush and afterwards I'm going to use my TheraBreath mouthwash. And I was gonna take a shot, but I was like, no girl, let's be classy. So I poured it into the top and swish it around. TheraBreath is one of my favorite mouthwashes next to Listerine. So after the oral care, I start to put my hair up, but then I remembered, oh, girl they just got you some floss so let's try to floss today y'all know when you go to the dentist and then the first thing they ask you is so when's the last time you flossed well okay I, I don't remember but now the next time that they ask me on my next six month checkup i'm gonna be able to tell them because i'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be the last time i floss <laughs> in six months but no i really want to start to make this a habit and this is your reminder to go to the dentist and get your six month teeth cleaning, okay? Okay. So the body scrub we're using smells perfect for the summertime. This is the crushed almond and mango butter body scrub from Dove. This is my first time using it and I'm in love with how smooth and easily it glides on my skin. Not to mention, once again, it smells delicious y'all so anyway i really love to take the time to just rub on myself love on myself in the shower i make sure i get the scrub all over my body i want to get it in every crevice because it's going to help you smell good all day the weather is about to start getting warmer eventually and you want to make sure you're not stinking out here. So I make sure I just rub my body all the way down. Don't forget to get the bottoms of your feet and under your underarms. We're going to just wash all the sugar scrub away. Make sure you do your first rotisserie chicken spin before you move on to your soap. Something else new that I got is this Dial Antibacterial White Soap. They also have the gold soap, but it just wasn't fitting my aesthetic you know so i'm trying this antibacterial soap because i see that it kills bacteria but upon further research i see that it kills good bacteria and bad bacteria so the cons are that the soap can kill the good bacteria and cause your skin to be a lot more drier so in that case be sure that you have some good moisturizer and some good oils to revive your skin but a good thing about this soap is that it does kill the bad bacteria so we all know how much bacteria is just floating around the air floating around the world so using this antibacterial soap every now and then could be helpful for you but i advise you all to try several different products i don't even stick to the same products i try dal dove olay all different types of body soaps now moving on to something else i'm trying is you guys know i love to mix my products so i'm mixing this eucalyptus dr bronner soap and then this salt's hair and if you saw my previous video you guys saw that i mixed my dr bronner's peppermint soap with a scented soap as well and i liked that method a lot more this eucalyptus soap is so overpowering that it didn't even like give saltier a chance it was literally the star of the show it was destiny's child and the eucalyptus soap was beyonce and the Saltaire were the other three members that were no longer in the group. But Eucalyptus is such a calming fragrance. It's one of the fragrances that I love so much. I also got a Eucalyptus plant 
in my shower just because I love the smell of eucalyptus so much. It's like a stress reliever in the shower. And when I'm in the shower, I make sure I just take my time to really love on and appreciate my body. I honestly treat my shower routines as if it's another day at the spa. So after the shower, it's time to move on to my skincare routine and I have to take care of my facial hairs. So I got a wax my brows and wax my upper lip because unfortunately I was not winning in that genetic category so first things first I'm going to use my new facial cleanser that I got from La Roche Posay I was using a Neutrogena facial cleanser but let me know if you guys have experienced this but the Neutrogena cleansers are kind of starting to burn my face so I had to switch up my cleansers and this La Roche Posay is currently what I'm using. And the cleanser I got also pairs with this micellar water. It's kind of acting like a toner and it's also part of La Roche Posay. And I make sure I get all over my face and I drag it on down to my neck as well. So moving on to my brows, I kind of got to just clean them up. This is my self-care maintenance at the house. I just do a little cleanup for the brows that tend to grow underneath my brow line and a little bit above my brow line as well. And then I also wanna make sure I get the middle cause we don't need no unibrow growing in, okay? And then to take care of the upper lip, I use these Nair Ready Wax Strips. So I also used to have to get my upper lip wax, but this is a more cheaper and effective method for me. You know, I got to calm myself down and then I'll pull it, rip it from the skin. And it takes, it does a really good job in my opinion. You know, I got to pump myself up before this next round. I really like it because it comes like two in a pack and you can use two strips for each side. Now, one, two, three, and go. <laughs> This is like really hard to wax your skin, but it really doesn't hurt as bad as waxing it at the actual nail salon or the waxing studio that I was once going to. It comes with a moisturizing pad, so I just used the moisturizing pad and wiped away the residue that was left behind. And now I'm just gonna finish up my skincare routine by using my The Ordinary Facial Moisturizer and my Vitamin E Oil. With my vitamin E oil, I'm just going to massage it all up in my face and work my way down to my neck as well. So you guys know I love to mix my products. So this time I'm mixing my Osea body oil and my Osea body butter. And when I tell y'all, if we're talking about summer glow, if you really want to just glow and look moisturized and put together like you headed to the beach or just outside for brunch this summer, this is the perfect combination for you. Just look at my skin, okay? Take a look. This is how my skin looks thanks to those Osea products. And I think it's perfect, especially because like I said, with using antibacterial soap, one of the cons is that it dries your skin out. So if you want to avoid that and you don't want your skin to dry out as easily, moisturizing it with an oil and a body butter does your skin justice, okay? So when you get your chest and your arms and all the top half of your body, Make your way down to massaging the bottom half of your body. And when I tell you all, I treat my shower routines, the full shower routine, like a spa day. I make sure I take care of myself. And I hope you all do as well. Just take time to rub on your skin. Nobody going to love your body or your skin the way that you do. Moving on to nail care and lip care. I'm using these NYX Butter Glosses. I'm going to first outline my lips with this NYX Lava Cake. It is such a cute brown color. And then I'm going to go on the inside with the NYX Butterscotch. This is a cute little lip combo. And then, of course, your Beauty Supply Clear Lip Gloss to top it off. And before moving on, we got to make sure we take care of our cuticles with our cuticle oil. I finally got my nails done, y'all. It's been like three months since I've gotten my nails done, and I don't think I'll ever do that again, okay? 
But anyway, take care of your hands next with this Fenty Skin Butter Drop. This is honestly my favorite lotion ever and if I don't put it on my skin, I'll put it on my hands because of how smooth your hands feel and look afterwards. And while I was doing my nail care, I forgot that I need to put some perfume and some deodorant on. And that's the last thing you want to forget to put on. So I got this K. Ali mini fragrance sample set and all of the fragrance in this little mini set smell so good so i'm just gonna try the mini vanilla because it is strong and it packs a punch so put the vanilla on and then put on my deodorant now i am in the market to try a new deodorant not that it's anything wrong with dove or i have a problem with it i've just been using dove forever and i want to try something different I've been looking at the Donna Karen, so let me know your suggestions on some good deodorant. This is the final product. Moisturized, feeling good, looking good, ready for the beach, okay? Thank you all so much for watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you're interested in some products. I'll link all the products down in the description and I'll see you all next time.